I'm sharing with you some striking differences I'm noticing on the two trial beds here, which are now in their 10th year of this bed being dug every December and the compost incorporated. That's traditional digging in the UK at least. And this one, the same amount of compost put on top. That's the only difference. And from then on, there's no feeds or fertilizers used here. The only application of fertility, if you like, is compost once a year in December. And the watering is the same. <laughs> That's very pertinent this year. The, so the same timings, the planting is the same. The harvesting is the same on the same day, same plants, everything the same except for the digging or no dig. And this morning I was picking cucumbers. I got ridge cucumbers there, which followed peas and cabbage. Everything you can see in these beds is a second planting made in the summer. We don't add any more compost for that. And that has followed harvests, which were 44 kilos, sorry, <laughs> 44 kilos there on the dig bed and 56 here on the no dig. We noticed pretty much every year, well actually every year, in 17 years of doing this, because I was doing it in my previous garden as well, the, the no-dig bed gives slightly more harvest, around 10%, and that's for less work because you haven't got to do the digging and also quite a few more weeds on the dug bed. And what I noticed this morning was the cucumbers picking these, and that was the, today's harvest, and this followed the harvest of just two days ago, which was also four. So really good harvest. And this morning on the dig bed, which has two cucumber plants like that, none. And previously there were two. So in the last, say, five days of growth, that one's given eight cucumbers, that one's given two. Now, that's just one result in isolation. But what is really striking me and has been for a little while is the, the mildew, so much more mildew on the, the dig bed. Why? <laughs> Uh, it, it opens a bit of a debate on, you know, where does mildew come from? This is powdery mildew, which is a dry mildew. Uh, can be caused by lack of watering, actually, but they both have the same amount of water. Um, I think it is to do with the soil and the health of the plant. That because, for example, in my polytunnel, I've got two melon plants side by side, different varieties. One has almost lost its leaves, so much mildew, and the one right next to it, has no mildew or very little. So it's not, mildew is not like potato blight. It doesn't just transmit from leaf to leaf and land willy-nilly. It's the leaf of the plant has got to be weak enough that the mildew can get into it. And I think that's what's going on here. The, these plants are just not quite so strong. Why? That's what I'd love to know for sure. I mean, I suspect it could be because, you know, in digging you're breaking the mycorrhizal network, those kinds of things. And there's something, something about moisture retention. You know, I think this year why it's maybe showing up more strongly in the dry conditions, these celeriac, and you know, I water them. <laughs> they just don't grow. And then look at these. So these are celeriac planted, transplanted at the same time, same date of sowing March, same date of transplanting late May. Dig bed, very small, except the two edge ones, interestingly, which possibly could be feeding into the mycorrhizal network in the pathway, maybe. And these ones, pretty strong. Again, though, with stronger on the edge and also a bit more moisture in the pathway, which is an advantage of not having wooden sides, actually, because your plants can feed into the pathway. And the leeks also, to my eyes, they look... <laughs> they, they haven't been looking much different. They haven't been in the ground for long. They were put in after potatoes. We had around 13 kilos of potatoes there on the dig bed and around 13 kilos on nodding, about the same this year. Um, potatoes is one thing that sometimes does better on the dig bed this year it was about the same and that's why it's fascinating doing this trial year after year after year and build up a profile you can see the results on my website there's a page dedicated to it we'll put the link in the description uh, but i'm seeing what i'm seeing with these leaks to my eyes is those are slightly more gray slightly metallic color to the green leaf and those slightly more luminous and vibrant green and i've try to photograph this difference it doesn't always show up but i would say these are definitely slightly bigger already it's really interesting you know i think to do with the moisture again the i think with no dig just the plants have better access to what moisture is in the soil through 
mycorrhizal network not being disturbed, but wouldn't it be interesting if, if more studies could be done on, on this line? I don't have the resources here to you know, <laughs> follow this up in laboratories and things, but I'm sure somebody, somebody might be. Uh, let's hope, because it's implications for all of us, particularly with a lot of dry weather um, happening all the time.